Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanumant Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to sort the elements of the array. So here in this particular program we are going to arrange all the elements of an array in an ascending order. Now let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace we are going to write input output stream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in a angular base we'll write console input output dot h header file now let us write wide main function so curly open brace here in the declaration section of the variables we are going to declare all the necessary variables with the respective data type int a of 50 so here a is array of size 50 comma i is used for index and now i'm going to use the temporary variable temp n is number of elements next j is one more subscript now let us write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen we'll ask the user to enter how many elements using cout statement here in a double quotation mark i'm going to write enter the number of elements So end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scene statement scene stream extraction operator and we are going to take this variable called n. Next we will ask the user to enter the elements using cout stream insertion in a double quotation mark I am going to write enter the elements. So backward slash n end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to uh, input each element at a time using the iterative statement for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus and here we are going to receive the input from the user through keyboard using c in stream extraction operator and here i'm going to write the variable of type integer that is array variable so a of i and put semicolon so after receiving all the elements we need to arrange them in an order so here i'm going to use the actual logic how exactly we are going to arrange them in an order so let us write for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus next one more iterative statement for j is equal to i'm going to write i plus 1 and then j is less than n and then j plus plus now we are going to check out one condition that is if a of i is greater than a of j if it is true then the interchange has to take place so here i'm going to write temp is equal to a of i a of i is equal to a of j and then a of j is equal to temporary variable next curly closing brace for this uh, if statement now we are going to uh, print the sorted elements are here i'm going to write c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write the sorted elements are so backward slash n end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and here through iterative statement for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and then i plus plus here i'm going to write c out stream insertion operator and then i'm going to write a of i correct yes next i'm going to write get ch function curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example here i'm going to write output so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the number of elements here i'm going to write enter the number of elements so for example i'm going to enter three okay so n is holding value 3 next enter the elements so it is going to ask the user to enter the elements so just because of this backward slash n cursor come down to the next line and using this iterative statement and scene statement we are going to receive one digit at a time through this iteration so for example i am going to enter here 3 1 and 2 so it will be mapped in a memory something like this in a consecutive blocks so whose index number starts from 0 1 and 2 now so we have received 
the values of the three blocks after receiving this we have to check out this iterative statement for i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus for j is equal to i plus 1 so for the first time i value is 0 0 plus 1 means what it is pointing to block number 1 so i is pointing to 0 so i is pointing to 0 j is pointing to i plus 1 i is for the first time it is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 so j is pointing to 1 so next we are going to check out this condition a of i a of i is what 0 correct so here i'll write a of i is 0 correct so 0 consisting of what 3 right so here i'm going to write 3 3 is greater than a of j is pointing to 1 that consisting of 1 so whether 3 is greater than 1 yes it is true if it is true then the control enters into the body of this if and interchange takes place so what is going to happen here we are going to check out this is true once it is true temp is equal to a of i is what for the first time it is a of 0 a of 0 is what 3 so it is initialized to temp next a of i is 0 a of j is 1 one consist uh, one consisting of 1 so a of a, uh, 0 is equated with value 1 next a of j is what a of j is 1 correct so a of j is 1 temp is what temp is 3 so we are equating 3 to 1 so now how exactly it will be mapped in a memory you can see here i am going to write three consecutive blocks whose index number starts from 0 1 2 here you can see a of 0 must hold 1 a of 0 must hold 1 next a of 1 must have 3 next this 2 will be as it is correct okay fine once again control transfers to the inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j will be pointing to what 2 so here um, i is pointing to 0 and now j is pointing to 2 yes next we will check out if a of 0 a of 0 consisting of what a of 0 consisting of value 1 is greater than a of j is pointing to what 2 2 consisting of 2 so whether 1 is greater than 2 no condition fails once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j value will become 3 3 is less than 3 no condition is false so in that situation control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is pointing to what 1 so let us draw this diagram once again here i'm going to write index number 0 1 and 2 so i is pointing to what 1 so i'm going to write the numbers as it is 1 3 2 and i is incremented and now it is pointing to 1 next j is i plus 1 i is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so here j is pointing to what 2 right yes. next we'll check out this condition if a of i that is a of 1 consisting of what 3 here i'll write if 3 is greater than a of j is what a of j is pointing to 2 that consisting of 2 so whether 3 is greater than 2 yes condition is true once the condition is true then these three statements will get executed what will happen now i'm going to write here temp is equal to a of 1 consisting of what 3 correct next a of i is a of 1 is equal to a of j is what a of 2 a of 2 consisting of what 2 right next a of j is what 2 is equal to temp is 3 right yes next once again i'm going to draw the same three consecutive blocks 0 1 2 then a of 1 must have 2 here i'm going to write 2 a of 2 must have 3 a of 2 must have 3 so this one will be intact as it is right so now you can see here we have written 1 2 3 so it is in a order once again the control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 so j was earlier it is pointing to 2 now it is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once again control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is 2 so it is pointing to 2 i is pointing to 2 here okay now j value will become what it will become 2 plus 1 3 so 3 is less than 3 condition is false again control goes back to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value will be 3 3 is less than 3 no condition is false once the condition is false the control comes out of the looping structure and it is going to print 
the sorted elements are here i'm going to write the sorted elements are and just because of this backward slash n cursor come down to the next line and it is going to print for i is equal to 0 e of 0 e of 0 consisting of what 1 it is going to print 1 next again it increments the value of i by 1 just because of this i plus plus now value of i is 1 e of 1 consisting of what 2 next again it increments the value of i by 1 next i value will become 2 2 is less than 3 yes condition is true then it is going to print e of 2 e of 2 is holding what value 3 now you can see all the elements are sorted in an order that is in an ascending order 1 2 3 so earlier we have inputted as 3 1 2 and now it is organized in an order so let us execute this program for that i am going to take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error and I'm going to press enter now. Now let us run this program by pressing control F9. Here it is asking the user to enter the number of elements. For example, I'm going to enter 3 and press enter. Here it is asking the user to enter the elements. For example, I'm going to enter 3, 1 and 2 and then press enter. Here you can see it is showing the sorted elements are 1, 2 and 3. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.